So in this video, I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin for the Bernina 1008. So remember, the bobbin fits into the bobbin casing that then goes into the bobbin housing, and that's where that all goes. We're dealing with the bobbin itself right now. There are two styles of thread cones that we use, the smaller, light, lighter weight, and then the, uh, the more industrial, heavier. This one fits here, and we wind a bobbin with it there, and we sew with it there. The heavier thread cone with more thread on it is too heavy to sit up here. It wobbles back and forth. If you're trying to sew with it up here, that's your clue. Don't, uh, it'll wobble, and the thread tension will not work. So we put this thread cone over here, and the thread feeds straight up into the, uh, this guide and then over to the machine this way. Now, to wind a bobbin, we want to go through this thread guide that is on the top, and then remember this thread guide, and it's a tension. I'm putting that pin through to show you that bottom metal bit is on a spring, and the metal, uh, the um, pin is where we want the thread to go. So we want to put that in there. It's kind of like flossing your teeth. Just slide that in there. There are arrows around on the top of it that show you which direction to go around. And then we come over here to the bobbin winder itself. Before we put the bobbin on the bobbin winder, we want to put the thread through one of those side holes so that the thread that is coming off of the cone through the guide, through the tension, onto the bobbin comes onto that center part. This thread will hold up here in a minute. I'm going to slide that, snap that over into place, leave this here because I want to talk about the flywheel. There are two parts to the flywheel, this outer ring and then the inner ring. You're going to hold the outer ring steady with your left hand and turn the inner ring a half a turn or so that way, and that disengages the flywheel. So what does that mean? Back over here, disengaging the flywheel means that the, um, the needle and the thread uptake lever have been disengaged, whereas usually when you're sewing, they are rotating and the needle is going in and out of the fabric. Right now, they are, um, they're isolated. They, they won't move while we wind the bobbin. I'm going to hold on to this thread so it doesn't get sucked in and, and, and uh, wound around because that makes a mess. I'm going to hold this up. So the gas pedal that is down on the floor is what you press on to make the machine go. Back up here at the bobbin, I'm going to press on the pedal and wind that around. I'm going to get a little bit of thread on there and then I can just break that off and the thread will get caught and wind around. You can you can see that as the, I'm pressing on the pedal, the flywheel is going, the bobbin is winding, but over here, the thread uptake lever and the needle here are disengaged so that they don't jam up in the housing down here. The bobbin will automatically fill up, and when it's full, it will kick over and stop. The bobbin will wind until it stops, once the bobbin is full, take your foot off the gas pedal. Remember to engage the flywheel. Without this being engaged, the needle and the thread uptake lever won't work. Cut your thread, pop your bobbin off. Now, the way the bobbin goes into the bobbin casing is important. You want it to go in with the thread coming off of the top, as if it were a number six. On the bobbin casing, there is a metal slit 
and a piece of metal here that provides tension for the thread on the bobbin. So what we want to do is slide, gently slide that thread under that metal plate and pull on the thread. When we're pulling on the thread, we can see that the bobbin is unwinding in a clockwise position. That's exactly what we want. Remember that lever on the other side? Right here on that lever, as if my hand were the lever, right there is a little helping finger that holds on to the inside of the bobbin so that, oops, see, that doesn't happen. I'm going to put that in, slide it under, pull, the bobbin is going in the, count, in the clockwise position, going to carefully hold that in place while I lift the lever and engage that inner finger to hold on to the bobbin so it won't fall off and roll off under a table. Then the center of the bobbin fits on this sprocket here. This little finger points up to the ceiling as if to say we're number one and that slides in and there should be a satisfying click if it's in place. You don't want long tails, so you just cut those off. And that's how you wind the bobbin and how to get it back in the machine. In the next video, I'll show you how to thread the machine and how that engages here.